So I'm here with Gil Friedman from Mental Athletics. Um, very excited, Gil, that um, yourself and Gabrielle will be coming over to Australia. Um, just a little bit about my relationship with Gil. I've been working with him now for quite some time um, to help focus more on my journey and realizing that um, my horse and I are a team, um, which made perfect sense. Um, I've helped to learn the skill of mentally managing the secret competition um, and doing a quick checklist each morning at the shows, which has helped me significantly. Practicing a, a three point actions uh, with a simple action code has helped me also with um, what I'm doing in the show pen. But I think the big thing is realizing that my horse and I are a team. Um, he's the athlete, I'm the competitor. And there's so much else, I suppose, that I've gained from working with, with you, Gil, uh, over this time that has helped me more to identify that it's about me understanding my relationship with my horse. Um, he doesn't know when I'm taking him out of the barn if he's going to have a pick of grass or if he's going to go for the, the derby shootout finals, you know. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of stuff, I suppose, that I've gained by working with you over these yeah. past 12 months. And I want to thank you very much for that. And I'm excited that we can actually take some of this information now and share it with others that are also looking for, you know, a better way to approach their their horsemanship um, and their relationship with their horse to ultimately become better at what they do. So mm -hmm. thank you, Gil, and, and welcome. Thank you. thank you very much, Gita. I appreciate it a lot. And yeah. I'm super excited about coming to Australia for the Global Reigning Clinic. I mean, yeah. Gabriel Borges and I have been working on this, this clinic for quite a while and both of us were running clinics around the world and we thought it was time to match up together and bring something new to this industry. So I'm very excited what's coming ahead and excited for this talk for us to kind of share with everybody all your Australians a little bit about what we're going to do in the clinic. Yeah. So that's yeah. awesome. It, it is exciting because uh, it is a different approach, I believe, um, to how we think when we're, we're working with our horses at home as well as showing. So you've um, obviously been working with uh, Gabrielle now for quite some time. He just took out the 100X Big Open a couple of months ago. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been working on with Gabrielle um, over the, the last few months or, or the last year? Mm -hmm. So Gabriel is an up and coming trainer. He's fairly young, but a superstar, you know, he's a super rider. And really, when we start working together, Gabe reached out to me and was curious. He's a learner. He said, I'm really curious to hear what you've got that can help me become a better rider, a better horseman, and actually even a better human, a better competitor. So I stood up for the challenge like I always do, and we start working together. And I, I got to say, from my perspective, I was amazed about his, his grit and intelligent approach of horsemanship. And more than that, you know, the connection between us got both of us to learn that it's not only about our personal skills for him as a horse trainer, as a competitive rider, for me as a mindset coach, it was actually what is happening between us, the relationship. After working for quite a while, Gabe told me something that really clicked to me and says, you know, I find that every athlete in the world, in many sports, have people in their corner. But for me, as a horse trainer, as a horse, a horse rider, you know, in many cases, I feel, I mean, that it's a lonely game. It's just me and myself and I trying to climb up the ladder and show it to our best. And I want to have people in my corner. And I want you to be one of the, you know, uh, professionals that is helping me reach my personal goals. And step by step, we, 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 we brought into the table each one his skills, his talent, and obviously, He's the competitor and he's the talent and I'm the back theme guy. I, I, I feel myself sometimes as, you know, a ghost or a shadow because I go be behind the scenes and try to kind of, you know, pull the strings and make an impact about the game. Yeah. 
Yeah. The whole idea of what I do is is conditioning riders, mentally conditioning riders, helping them to execute high-level horsemanship that plays out in high performance. But the truth is that understood it's not only about high performance, it's about a combination of two important factors, high performance and well-being. And in a little bit, in this conversation, we'll talk about a very important point that I try to share with the world as for as many riders as I can in many different equestrian sports, that horsemanship is not a method. It's not an A, B, C, D action that you take and magic happens. Horsemanship is an approach. It's an approach that we take as riders that if we condition ourselves to be in the right place, so the actions we take, you know, obviously, with the horse, riding the horse, and working with the horse, play out, and what you said earlier, is create a team. I don't believe that the most talented rider wins the horse show. Not even the best horse is usually the one that's gonna win. Best teams do, and that's our job. That's our job to learn how we can create the best team that plays out in high performance. So in this clinic, we will talk about what happens between us, how we work together about conditioning the rider, mentally, physically, technically, and how we condition the horse, mentally, physically, and technically, to work together as one, and hopefully reach high performance and win. Why not? Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's been a big takeaway from us working together as well. You know, you are a team, and <clears throat> it is about mentally conditioning yourself um, as the competitor. But also, I believe, you know, with with all equestrian sports, it's not necessarily, like you said, the best horse and rider that'll win. It's it's the best team. Mm -hmm. And I think a big thing of, of what you've brought to the table that I know that, that you guys will be sharing, you know, is about building the confidence that when you go into the, the show pen, you are a confident team. You're not questioning yourself. Um, because you've you've done it, you've you've practiced ugly, you've you've made it happen. So um, we are excited to to welcome you over to deliver that refreshing approach to horsemanship and showing. Um, it has gone beyond, or, or your program really does go beyond horsemanship, as you just said. Um, it 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 links into your performance side of it. Can you share with us a little bit about what this clinic would cover, mm -hmm. um, so to speak? So, you know, we, we understood something very interesting that happens in many clinics that we've been participating in and we've been kind of doing ourselves that, you know, you go for a day or two, three days clinic, you know, you learn some very cool techniques, your horse starts amazing riding better, magic is happening, and then you go home and after three, four days, you're scratching your head, you know, how come it worked that well a few days ago and now it's just not not there yet you know and and we all learners we all want to learn how to become better riders but i was really fascinated i was sharing it with gabe i told him listen you know i'm really curious about performance you know i think that most of the clinics that we go to you know as riders worldwide is mm -hmm. really learning just how to train our horse better how to ride it better how to get him turned you know how to circle change leads stop and makes a lot of sense but nobody really talks about performance performance is something that is where we're kind of left alone you know with ourselves or if we're you know non pro with our trainer and try to play it out i don't know five to ten times a year when we go to horse shows yeah and the whole idea of this clinic it's a performance clinic it's not how to train your two-year-old or your three-year-old in the beginning of the, the way no it's what happens when you're ready. You sign up to the show, you did all your practice sessions, you're heading to the horse show, and now you got two days of riding and a day of a horse show. And you need to bring all your knowledge and skills and the hard work you put in up to this point into a performance, hopefully peak performance. And that's the goal of the clinic. We're gonna talk about the approach of conditioning the team to perform to its best. So obviously we'll go through all maneuvers, but it's not just, okay, let's what we're gonna do from the turns to the to the circles to the sliding stops. No, we're gonna talk about 
what it takes to create a team, what is expected from the horse to do, but mainly what is expected from us. And we're going to share the, the backstage of the work me and Gabriel do. We're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about the work, about the approach, how we prepare ourselves to show. What are the steps we take when we get to the show? It's not just about going to, to count how many rides I have. Okay, I have one or two or three rides before I show. What matters is, is what I do and how I do it, but also the perspective we look at it. How do I condition myself? What is my goals? What is my game plan? What may distract me from approaching my game plan? What would I uh, 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 be satisfied with in the preparation process? And what is very important for me not to give up on? So we'll pretty much will condition ourselves from the first practice session to the next practice session to the third practice session preparing to the show and then for the first time I think I mean I've never seen something like that we'll run a class we'll pick a pattern and all of yeah. us are going to show our horses and see how what we worked on played out into real performance we'll judge ourselves we'll take videos that will also help us to analyze it and for me it's 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 it I find it so powerful because it will be something to go home with. We'll be able to, yeah. when we go home, to, to look at that run and kind of remember the things that, in the point uh, we worked on. And it will be group session, but we're, we're really aiming also to a little bit of individual work to get a chance to give each rider that small thing that can make a big impact, that can really go for, for, the, for the journey approach, for, for their next horse show, and to make a difference. Now, the clinic, we've got to remember, it's two individuals. We have Gabe, that is, you know, top 20 rider in the NRHA, and myself, that I'm a performance mindset coach. And each one is going to kind of put in our specialty. We'll have practice session, riding session. We'll have a, a, a mindset session, some lectures. I'll teach riders performance techniques, you know, and 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 the idea of how our mind works and what we can do in order to bring the best form of ourselves, you know in the end of the day when the rider is, is is able to bring the best version of itself into the competitive environment then magic happens then the real deal happens and these are the times we feel that we have good horse shows and reach success yeah I think it's exciting that there is that mix of working with yourself and the mindset um, side of what we do and also working with Gabrielle. And I know that you just said in there, you know, it's not just teaching and the maneuver, it's it's building that teamwork. And I think that's something that's refreshing and, and new because we do tend to go to a clinic and, and at no fault and, and they've all been great clinics, but we go to a, a, a clinic and we learn a maneuver but we haven't really got the mindset behind what we're doing or how we can reproduce that, so to speak, when we get home. Mm -hmm. um, I think a, a big strength of what I've seen, you know, after working with you this past year, Gil, has been you work with everyone from youth. I think that was the first thing that I heard about you was you worked with the NRHA youth at the Futurity last year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your techniques aren't just, you know, pigeonholed into older or or younger people it's across the board so everyone from youth right through to the competitive non-pro as well as the trainer um it's techniques that everyone can can implement in and and i think in talking to some of the trainers you know even at the arbc this year you know they were really keen of well, well what what are you covering with this guy you know like how does that work and and i suppose a lot of that came out of the fact that I was competing in the Derby, which is the feature event at the ARBC, plus running this massive mammoth show. And, you know, just simple techniques of my of, of time management that you taught me. Um, we linked in, you know, each day at the show to, to just sort of touch base of where I was at mentally. Um, two hours before my class, I would disappear. You know, they're techniques and things that nobody ever really teaches you. You know, you're, you're at the horse show and you know, your class might be about 2 p.m., you know, and, and you sort of sometimes get caught up and, and then you're tired and you're not ready to go show. You know, it's it's all those aspects of performance that I think you've brought to the table to highlight to me. 
Um, and I don't think it went unnoticed because, you know, I was fairly busy running the show and, and we made it to the finals and dang, I got reserve champion, you know, in the level four, like heck, half a point. <laughs> so, you know, who, who would think that you could run a massive event plus show a horse in a derby class? um one day after each other and i suppose that's that's some of i suppose the outcomes that i've gained from working with you and i know that you'll bring to the table um with what you're doing it, you know and in talking to gabrielle at the futurity just a couple of, of a week or two ago you know um he was very confident in the team that he had with his horse you know um and that comes from all these techniques that you guys have obviously been working on together for so long. So um, I think when people are looking at this clinic that we're looking at putting on in July, um, it is for the youth, it is for the trainer, and it is for people just starting out competing as, as well as, you know, competitive non-pros that are out there. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to gain that um horsemanship beyond performance yes so yes. yeah yes. we're very excited to to welcome you and gabrielle and um to i suppose explore different things as we move closer to doing this clinic Absolutely. um of, of what what you know people can expect to get out of mm -hmm. uh, attending the clinic absolutely you know one of yeah. the 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 main goals of this clinic is we all watch finals, you know, we, we watch the level four finals in the US or in Europe and we say like, it, it, it really looks easy. It looks simple, those riders come in and, and bring in a huge performance, you know, Gabe's run at the 100X, a 232, an amazing run. It was just mm -hmm. impeccable, but we all know it's not easy. And the question is, what are, what are the secrets? What stands behind, beyond, that that three minutes four minutes in the show pen and that's what we want to share we don't want to just share how to to ride well but we want to learn how to become horsemen horsewomen competitors you know yeah want to understand how it's not an individual sport it's not gil or gabe or gita you know mm. it, it's 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 a team sport a rider's horse and how we how thinking like a horse helps us to be better horse mm -hmm. people and 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 it's it encourages you know high performance because when we condition ourselves to to see the horse you know mm -hmm. not the game you know I, mm -hmm. I i i i was telling one of the riders that was working now in the futurity in many cases we 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 tend to allow things to happen instead of make things happen there are so many things that are within our control that just the awareness to it create a big impact and mm. nobody can see what is happening in the six six inches between our ears beside our, mm. us ourselves you know and and this is a place to learn to learn how i can be the best form of myself i can be the best rider and it's not only just about training you know techniques or practice methods it's about a vision and we have a vision and and i'm super excited that you are joining us in this, in this vision is to yeah. approaching this sport a little bit different yeah. a little bit different because i believe that any person that brings something new to the sport it gets everybody to 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 be better you know and like you started to talk about a team sport in, in every lecture i have asked them so a question writing is it a team sport or individual sport every time i get a different answer thousand of different answers i got at this point yeah. and and yeah. And once you approach the team sport, the dynamics are different. Mm. You know, it's not me and my horse, it's us. And all the investment and all the time and effort we put in the horses is one thing, but now it's time to invest in us. Yep. Invest in us, in our mind, our body, and our technical skills. And when it plays out into performance, into very fun and learning clinic, you know, that that hopefully, you know, we're super excited to make it all the way. To Australia, that's one of my personal bucket lists, you know, in my bucket list yeah. uh, to make yeah. it to the right out there. And, you know, I'm already fortunate to work for with quite a few Australians that I'm really excited to see all of you there. And I'm sure it's going to be something awesome and something that's never been done before. 
and hopefully for many for many more you know and for 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 another new adventure to reach to as many people and you said something that's very important for me to to note it's for all riders for all levels you know yeah. from the top open riders to the young youth riders and amateur riders you know in in any age if you ride horses if you ride reiners yeah welcome there is a lot to take from it there's a lot to learn mm-hmm. from it and it's not about success or failure it's about the journey mm-hmm. and we're going to yeah. invest in the journey and it's going to be very cool i'm sure yeah yeah i i i think too you know uh, breaching that across other disciplines as well you know um we have a big challenge um this well group of competitors over here that i know we've seen develop their dry work which is the reining side of things and you know um the competitive environment is there across cutting challenge camp draft the whole lot so i think you know what you and gabriel are bringing over here is an opportunity for not just rainers to participate in these Absolutely. clinics but also these other disciplines um i mean if you can quieten my mind <laughs> and get me to look at i suppose my horse and i as a team you know um those of them that those people that know me know that you know quietening my brain isn't an easy thing but it it is a step by step system and that system has been really fun to explore and i'm not finished yet like i i'm excited for the clinic i'm excited to come along um and and see what else i can learn because there is so much and you're never actually done so mm-hmm. um we look forward to welcoming you guys out where we're, we're awesome. holding um three day clinics uh two of them for non pros one for trainers um you know our numbers whilst you know we'd like to take as many as we can will be limited to a certain degree so we're sort of keen to excite everybody and and get them to to think about coming along and um and meeting up with you guys and learning this refreshing approach i suppose to what we do in a in a sport that we love to do so yes. we're excited to welcome you over thank you very much and we're excited to come